The deal for local production of F-414 engines with technology transfer with the US firm General Electric has run into rough weather, as it is emerging that the price of the F-414 deal has gone up in price negotiations. The Ministry of Defense has signed a 877 crore rupees contract with Naval Group to integrate the DRDO developed Takshaka electronic heavyweight torpedo into the Calvary class submarines. The Ministry of Defense has signed a 1,990 crore rupees contract with Mazagin Dock Ship Builders for the construction of the RDO developed air independent propulsion module and its integration on board Calvary class submarine. Russia has completed 100% technology transfer of AK-203 rifles to India, and another batch of 20,000 rifles is all set to be delivered to the Indian Army, and delivery of 1.2 lakh rifles annually will start from 2026. The RDO's Defence Metallurgical Research Laboratory and Hindustan Aeronautics have successfully extended the service life of the AL-31 FP engine from 2000 hours to 2500 hours, and further research is underway to reach 3000 hours. Amid the delays in finalizing the provisional staff qualitative requirements by the Army in FRCV project, the Army has decided to extend the service life of its T-72 tanks well into the 2030s. L and T shipyard held the key link ceremony of the third cadet training ship for the Indian Navy. Amid the 18-month delay in the supply of General Electric F-404 engines by the US for Tejas Mark 1A, it is emerging that the price of the F-414 engine local production deal with the American firm for Tejas Mark II and AMCA Mark 1 aircraft has gone up after deep technical discussions with Hindustan Aeronautics. India has plans to induct 180 Tejas Mark 1A, 200 Tejas Mark 2 II and 120 AMCA 5th generation fighter jets, but all indigenous fighter programs are facing delays, mainly due to engine issues. After Russia announced that its Su-57 5th generation fighter jet will be demonstrated at the Aero India 2025, latest reports indicate that the American F-35A will also make another appearance at the upcoming Aero India, and this event could play a pivotal role in shaping India's decisions regarding its future fighter jet program. The presence of the F-35A at the Aero India could be a diplomatic signal to collaborate more closely with India, but the extent of this partnership remains to be seen. A debate has started, that drawing inspiration from the AMCA program, the Tejas Mark II should have been developed as a single-engine fifth-generation stealth fighter, which would make the aircraft more affordable for the Indian Air Force, and will also increase its export appeal in the international market. A stealth-capable Tejas Mark II could have addressed MRFA requirements, and could have provided a stopgap solution for a fifth-generation fighter until the AMCA becomes operational. Dassault Aviation's production backlog for the Rafale fighter jet has ballooned to 228 aircraft, which has raised questions about the timeline for India's acquisition of additional Rafale fighter jets. Even if Dassault Aviation manages to produce an average of 20 Rafale per year in 2024 and 2025, 188 aircraft still remains to be delivered between 2026 and 2033. The Indian Navy might see deliveries starting from 2030, even if the contract is signed in the early months of 2025. Today's Top 3 Comments